claim. And this is a story, uh, it was in the New York Times, and they couldn't find her body for three hours and landed in the cornfield. And this is a story about her falling out of the airplane and what happened and what was going through her mind. And it is amazing. The, uh, the imagination of uh, Mr. Jim Dickey. This is not what I would think would be going through my mind if I was falling out of an airplane. <laughs> Three and a half thousand feet. I wish I was <laughs> that much. I don't know even what the word is. <laughs> Tom Coolidge said, how long have you rehearsed this? I mean, we've never rehearsed it. It's just, I told him it's an AGDA, you know? So, that gives you, gives you, uh, That's a perspective. It gives you, it gives you cover. <laughs> I predict the papers get blown off, so if that happens, we'll figure that out. Somebody grab them and we'll replace it. Try not to stop. 29-year-old stewardess fell out from an airplane. His body was not recovered in three days in a cornfield in Kansas. Stakes and they block out the bear rolling. And they turn to something transcontinental and move and draw the moonlight out the great one side of stone. Stakes and they block out. They're chasing their black alley, lie there rolling when they turn to something transcontinental. Move by, drawing moonlight out of the great one sided stone. I'm off the starboard wingtip, some sleeper next to an engine is groaning for coffee. It's faintly coming in somewhere the vast beast whips in the space in the galley with its rock and train. She rummages for a blanket and moves in her slim, tailored uniform, dependent over the cry at the top of the door as though she blew. The door down with a silent blast from her lungs froze as she's black. You're finding yourself with a plane nowhere in her body taken by the throat. The undying cry of the void, falling living, beginning to be something that no one has ever been and lived through. Screaming without enough air. Still neat, lipstick, stocking, girl by regulation, her hat. Still on her arms and legs in no world. And she's spaced all so strangely with utter blasted rightness on the air. Taking her time, she holds it in many places, and now, still thousands of feet from her depth, she seems to slow. She develops interest, turns in her maneuverable body. So watch it. Is hung high up in the air, overwhelming middle of things in herself. In low body whistling, wrapped intensely. All her dark dance weight coming down from a marvelous leap. With the delaying, dumbfounding ease of a dream of being grown. Like endless mound light to the harvest soil. Of central state of one's country. The great gradual warmth coming over her, floating. Finding more and more breath than what she has been using. Her breath, as she levels, becomes more human. Seeing clouds placed honestly below her left and right, riding slowly toward them, she clasps it all. To her and can her hang her hands and sweet peculiar ways, and her eyes open wide by wind, and open her mouth as wide, wider, and suck. 
All they eat from the cornfields can go down in their back with a feeling of the heat from the cornfields. Those dependent pillows stacked under her can turn, turn it to someone in bed, smile, understood in darkness, can go away, slant, slide of tumbling into the emblem of a bird whose wings have spread, whirl madly on herself in the endless gymnastics and the growing warmth of the wheat fields, rising towards the harvest moon. There's the time to live. Superhuman help, seeing mortal, unreachable lights far down seeing. An ultimate highway with one light, priceless car probing and arriving. In a square town, and will offer starboard arm, the glitter of water catches the moon by one of its checkered sides, scale growing silver. My God, it is good and evil, lying in one after another of all the positions of love, making, dancing, sleeping, and now cloud woods and her no matter. No clouds. She walks over them like rain. She bursts out to behold a greyhound bus shooting light through its sides. It's a signal to go straight down like a glorious diver. Then feet first, her spirit stripped beautifully up, her face and fierce in her cloth, her legs deliriously bare. Then arms out, she slow rolls over, steadies out, waits for something great. Take control of her. Trembles and feathers, planes head down. The quick movement of bird necks. Turning her head, gold eyes, the insight. Eyesight of owls, blazing into the hen coops. The taste for chicken overwhelming. Her, the long range vision of hawks. Enlarging all human life to cars. Freight trains, loop bridges. Enlarging the moon racing slowly through all the curves of a river. All the dogs of the Midwest blazing from above. A rabbit in a bush turns white. The smothering chickens huddle. From over them there's still time for something to live. With a streaming half idea of a long soup of hurtling. A fall that is controlled. That plummets at the will. Turns gravity into a new condition. Showing itself aside like a moon. Shining into new powers. There's still time to live on a breath made of nothing. Time for her to remember to arrange her skirt like a diagram of a bat. Tightly it guides her. She has this fine skin made of garments. And there are also these skydivers on TV, sailing in sunlight, smiling under their goggles, swapping batons back and forth. And he who jumped without a shoot and was handed one by a diving bunny. She looks for her grinning companion. White teeth, nowhere. She's screaming, singing hymns. Her thin human wings spread out from her neat shoulders. The air beats crooning to her, warbling. Watching. She can no longer behold the huge partial form of the world now. She is watching the country hand lose its evoked master shape. Watching it lose and gain, get back at houses and people. Watching it bring up in local life, single homes. Lamps on barn roofs. If she fell into water, she might live like a diver, cleaving perfect plunge into another heavy silver unbreathable slowing saving element there's water there's time to perfect all the fine points of diving feet together toes pointed hands shaped right and shirt her into water like a needle come out healthy dripping and be handed a coca-cola handed a coca-cola there they are all the waters of life, the moon back to float in the reservoir. Let me begin. Plain across the night of Kansas, opening my eyes superhumanly, bright, the damn moon, opening the natural wings of my jacket by Don LaPair. Moving like a hunting owl towards the glitter of water. One cannot just fall. This tumble streaming all the time, and one must use it. Now through it all, through all the clouds, the damn bear straightened. Last wisp of job, Bob pulled apart on her face. They will reveal these two darts, two progressions with headlights, along dirt roads, chaos. At night, a natural warming, a new made, 
inevitable word of one's country, a great storm of light that's waiting water. Hold, hold out for water. Who knows when that correct young woman must take up her body and fly. A man for the moon frames in her eye, Midwest and prison water. Stored up her for years, the earth for jacket stepping, hair up her sleeves to go all over her, for final things to be said. down water like a rabbit, where it lies life itself off to the right with Kansas. She goes toward the blazing Bear Lake, skirts here, her hands and her face warm more and more by the air, rising for passages of dreams. Under her, under chenille bedspreads, the farm girls are feeling the goddess in their struggle, and rise brooding, scratch shining close to the bed, dreaming of female signs, of the moon, Male blood like iron of what is really said by the moon, of the moon, of airliners passing over them in dead of Midwest night, passing over brush fires, burn out in silence on little hills, and will wait to see the woman they should be, struggling on the roots which will come, stars, on her the ground is closer, water is nearer, she passes, it then banks, turns, sleeves fluttering differently as she rolls. Out to face the east where the sun shall come up the wheat field. She must do something with water. Fly to it, fall in it, drink it, and rise from it. But there's none left upon earth. The clouds have drunk it back. The clouds have sucked it down. They're standing here only. The common fields of death. She comes back from flying to falling. Returns to a powerful cry. The silent scream with which she blew down the couple doors of the airliner. Nearly, nearly losing hold of what she's done. Remembers, remembers the shape of the heart of the cloud, placidly swirling. Beyond explanation, explanation, let her now take off the hat and summer air the contour of cornfields and have enough time to kick off one remaining shoe with the toes of the other foot. fatally easy it is to undress in midair near death and the body will assume without effort any position except the one that will sustain it enable it to rise live not die nine farms hover closer widen eight of them separate leaving one in the middle of the fields of that farm to the same there's no way to back off from a chosen ground but she sheds the jacket with a silver side infinite wings she sheds the bat's guiding tailpiece of her skirt the lightning charge fleeing of her blouse, the intimate of a virgin. She sheds the long wind soaks of her stockings, absurd. Brazier, the build the girdle, required by regulation, squirming off her. No longer mono button. She feels a fertile flutter, shake in her hand and float upward. The cloak rising off her, ascending into clouds. Flights away from her head, the last sharp dangerous shoe, a dumb bird, and now we're dropping soon. Now we're dropping. In like this, the greatest thing that ever came to Kansas, down from all heights, all the levels of American breath, layered in the lungs, from the frail, until it's placed in the lung where extinction slumbers and corn taps. Thickly and breed like rich farmers, counting to come along them after the last human set, the last so careful task of her hands. All over her unharmed body, 
desired by every sleeper in his dream. Boys finding for the first time their loins filled with heart's blood. Widowed farmers whose hands plugged under light covers to find themselves. A risen sunrise, a splendid position of blood, unearthly drawn toward clouds. All feel something pass over them as she passes her palm over her long leg. Her small breasts and deeply between her thighs. Her hair shot loose from all pins, streaming in the wind of her body. Let her come openly, trying at the last second to land on her back. That is, this is it. This. All those who find her impressed in the soft lung gone down, driven well to the image of her body. The furrows for miles flowing in upon her where she lies very deep. Her mortal outline and the earth that is in the cloud can tell nothing, but that is there, inexplicable, unquestionable. And remember that something broke in them as well and began to live and die more. When they walked for no reason in their field to see where the whole earth caught her, interrupted, uninterrupted, her maiden flight told her how to lie. Cannot turn, go away, cannot move, cannot slide. Yet, assume another position. No skydiver with any grin could save her. Hold her in his arms, plummet with her, unfold above her as wedding skills. She can no longer mock the rain with whirling women that takes the place of a dead wife, or the goddess of Norwegian farm girls, or the back breaking whores of Wichita, or the moon air above her is not giving up quite one breath. It's all gone not yet not dead not anywhere else quite lying still in the field on her back sensing the smells the chest of growth try to lift her a little sight left in the corner of one eye fading seeing something gray lies believing that she could have made it the best part of her brief god estate the water gone and behest somehow smiling and vulnerable girl in a bathing suit and she is lying like a sunbather in the last moonlight Half buried in her impact on the earth, not far from a railroad trestle, a water tank. She could see it if she could raise her head from her modest hole, with her clothes beginning to come down all over Kansas, into bushes, on the dewy sixth green of a golf course. One shoe, her girdle, coming down fantastically on a clothesline where it belongs, her blouse on a lightning rod. Lies in the fields in this field on her broken back as though on a cloud she could not drop through while farmers sleepwalk without their women from houses a walk like falling towards the far far waters of life and moonlight toward the dreamed eternal meaning of their farms toward the flowering of the harvest in their hands that tragic cost feels herself go go towards go outward Breathes at last fully not and tries less once, tries, oh God.